Well, thank you, Matt. You know, we often hear in the, from people in the community that there are not enough positive activities for teenagers or young adults. Well, an event on March 12th certainly fits as a positive event for that age category and beyond. Tug Taviano and Frank Cage are joining me now, and they're joining together to bring a Christian hip hop artist, Trip Lee, to the area coming up very soon, guys. It's an exciting event. Of course, um, Trip has been in the area maybe a few years back along with some of his um, counterparts, but tell us a little bit about this concert and, and what to expect from Trip Lee. Um, it's called the Rise Tour, and uh, a lot of the gist of, of why Frank and I are, are doing it is not uh, technically about the music per se. Uh, it's about the uh, message behind it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as you can see, uh, Frank and I are uh, different colored skin uh, with the same heart, uh, same passion to uh, reach this community uh, for Christ and to also remove the uh, negative mindset that uh, white and black don't work together all the time uh, in churches and business and life in general and politics. Mm. And so we're trying to um, stand together to make a difference with that. It just so happens um, that uh, Lecrae's manager, uh, who's Tripp's manager as well, called me and uh, said he wanted us to host something in Lima. Okay. Uh, and so we uh, immediately said, let's do it. You know, um, sat with Frank and we started talking uh, together about this opportunity. And, and that's kind of when it hit us. Uh, it, was, it had to be God because we both uh, got goosebumps and we started talking about a term that we've been hashtagging called e-racism. Um, okay. Nothing to do with racism, but erasing racism. <laughs> sure, yeah, so right, uh, right, right. And that's, that's where it's at. So um, we're trying to bring a positive spin off of uh, who we are. Uh, but most of the message is just uh, getting Christ uh, relevant to this community again. Great, great. And of course, the Rise Tour based off of Trip Lee's latest album, Rise. Frank, what is it about Trip Lee or, or his whole 116 group that kind of brings that message of breaking down maybe some of those barriers? Um, I will simply say hope. Hmm. Um, when I listen to the music in, in general, um, I see it as just a form of communication. And when you really look behind what these guys are speaking about, um, it's a message of, of hope, it's a message of love. And I think regardless of gender, um, ethnic group, uh, wherever you are, I think that's a message that we all can relate to. Um, and I think uh, that's also the common denominator that me and Tug has sort of come around um, to sort of present this out to the community. Yeah, and so when you listen to some of this music, maybe at first glance people would would glance at it and just think, okay, it's just hip hop, it's just rap, the typical. But really the music um, between Triple E and Lecrae, they're talking about issues that regardless of race or skin color or uh, just where you're at in life, that it's relatable from an emotional basis. Yeah, and I think that's uh, why this year Lecrae was nominated against Eminem and yeah. Kendrick Lamar for uh, rap performance of the year right. because they are, they're there. You know, they're not uh, behind in their music capabilities or any or skills as a, a lyricist or what have you. Um, you know, it's it's relevant. Uh, it's hitting all genres. My eight year old son and my daughter uh, can rap these verses like and I can't, you know, so it's reaching all ages. Um, and, you know, we're definitely excited to bring them to a town that they normally don't come to yeah, um, yeah. and to offer a low cost uh, ticket to the community. So. Okay, and so let's talk a little bit about the logistics of the concert. It's going to be at Shawnee Alliance Church. Um, Tripoli will be along with uh, special guest KB, who I think is just releasing a new album as well. Um, so what can, where can we find tickets, and what are the prices looking like? Um, you can find tickets at uh, Gifts of Joy here in Lima. Uh, you can also find them online at itickets.com backslash rise. Okay. Wait. Itickets.com backslash Rise Lima. Lima. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, and that's where you can purchase the VIP tickets, which include meet and greet with Trip, question and answer time, early entry into the facility. Uh, they're only twelve dollars uh, for groups of ten or more, and fifteen for general admission. And are there going to be a limit on tickets? Should this be something that people uh, rush out right now after they watch this and go grab? Uh, tickets quickly? Uh, I would suggest that. I mean, I didn't expect to be 25% capacity uh, mm -hmm. right now. Um, usually the hip hop community is last minute, and we've seen that when we brought Lecrae to town. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people showed up the last week to purchase tickets, and there weren't any left, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we do hope it uh, packs out. We're also looking for businesses to come on board and purchase, you know, blocks of tickets and allow kids to come that possibly can't afford it to experience this as well. Sure. Well. Frank, 
Tug, we appreciate having you on. appreciate all that you're doing for the Lima area and bringing an event like this uh, to our area. Thanks. Thank you. We're going to send it back to you. A reminder that this is a wonderful concert that you can be a part of and breaking down any barrier that there might be. Of course, in March is also the Break Every Chain Women's Conference. Dancy has more, more information on that event. Dancy, take it away.